Someone has stolen three million dollars worth of dot JPEGs. <laughs> just, that sentence. <laughs> three million dollars worth of dot JPEGs. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> It makes me feel like the first Cro-Magnon looking up at a wall with crude pigmentation on it and going, No one will ever pay good seashells for this. <laughs> and just, what's worse is, the, the hacker uh, then donated, first he took a little slice of the three million dollars of the JPEGs and gave a piece of that back to one of the people he stole it from, and then he donated the rest to a cryptocurrency Tumblr site. <laughs> it's, it's Robin Hood, but with JPEGs. Oh, we've, we've had too much serious uh, Rings of Power discussion as of late, because it is a big deal, so we need something like this on occasion. Oh, yeah. uh, 17 OpenSea users, that is a cryptocurrency website that also deals with NFTs, have had their NFTs stolen and flipped for a total of $3 million by a phishing scammer. That's the best part, too. <laughs> They didn't get hacked, or at the very least, it doesn't look like they got hacked. They were sent a contract proposal, a smart contract, which they signed. Obviously, clicking the link and, uh, well, um, basically signing away their NFTs to the uh, thief. <laughs> Man, this is a whole new level of right-click save. Now, to be fair here, to be fair, right, okay, so these NFTs do have actual real fiat currency value. They are worth actual money because, well, much like power, value resides wherever people think it resides. Uh, many of you may remember the um, banana taped to a wall, which sold for... Um, what was it, $120,000? Or no, 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 no. The first two installations, quote unquote, sold for $120,000. And then the artist realizing that, holy hell, there's a lot more suckers out there than I imagined, upped the price for the next one to $150,000. <laughs> Which to be fair, you can hardly blame him at that point. I even believe that the um, the final entry into the banana saga was that a performance artist uh, took the banana off the wall, peeled it, and then ate it. <laughs> Can we have any surer sign that we live in a society with absolutely comically ridiculous abundance than a hundred and twenty thousand dollar banana taped to a wall? being taken off the wall, and then eaten as a part of the art piece. <laughs> Good God, where even are we as a civilization? And many people have now tried to, uh, to, to do this again, to out-idiots one another, creating more and more ludicrous art installations, though very few have managed to capture the, um, the the the, passas, the the spirit of the banana taped to a wall. Uh, over here in Norway, there was um they they took a piece of cardboard box, I think, a cardboard background. They put that up on the wall, and then they went to the shop, bought some groceries, and then they taped just with a little bit of tape. They taped the receipt to a wall, and they were hoping to sell that for a, a measly seven or six thousand bucks, I think. And hey, you know what? That's a far more permanent piece as well than um, than the banana. God damn it. But anywho, returning to the NFTs here, what has been stolen too is not the NFT picture. It, it's not the it's not a little JPEG. It is the NFT code, as that is what is supposed to have the actual value and the actual 
the uniqueness of it all. So even if you do right click save the NFT, that is not the NFT, that is just the picture of the NFT, the visual representation, whereas the code is the thing that's supposed to have value in exactly the same way as cryptocurrency. So again, there is an argument to be made for this being, you know, real money, etc. And again, value resides wherever people believes it resides. Yet nevertheless, so an hour and a half after users began reporting missing NFTs, OpenSea finally acknowledged the issue. They tweeted that they were actively investigating in the rumors of an exploit associated with OpenSea related smart contracts. So at first they thought that they have the smart contract system and somebody had managed to sneak something into that system, which allowed them access to people's wallets so that they could take the NFTs and transfer it to their own wallets and then sell them on from there. But they believe that this was actually a phishing attack coming from outside OpenSea, so not one of their um, their smart contracts at all. It was just, well, literally somebody sending a link to people and going, please click it. <laughs> and hey, seeing as some of the highest level of governance has fallen for phishing scams, as funny as it sounds, well, there's a lot of links being sent around the internet, and most people probably do just click half the stuff being sent to them. This comes uh, shortly after OpenSea also being sued for uh, $5 million for further exploits, or alleged exploits to be more correct, as these are very valuable apes. And credit where credit is due as well. The guy who first started selling apes for millions of dollars was an absolute genius. My god, the man never needs to work again because he thought to himself, what is the most ridiculous thing I could possibly do? Hmm. I know. I will draw a monkey. And then I will sell that monkey to celebrities who will pay me millions for the monkey thinking it's... Actually, I can't come up with the real reason there. <laughs> I do love this whole NFT thing. I hate what it's gonna do to gaming, because everyone and their grandmother is going to leap onto this god-awful little train. But... You gotta appreciate the hustle, if nothing else. They uh, And here comes the other one thing, too. One of the victims in inexplicably received 50 Ethereum coins worth $130,000, Ethereum being a cryptocurrency value, which is a bit more of the, um, the, the connoisseur's choice of uh, Bitcoin, basically the, uh, the hippie version of Bitcoin. Whereas the rest was transferred as 1,115 Ethereum to a cryptocurrency tumbler uh, worth around 2.9 million dollars. So all of the money stolen here was um, redistributed, <laughs> literally. <laughs> this entire thing's rather beautiful. I'm sure it sucks for the poor bastards who got um, hacked, quote unquote. But nevertheless, I, this is one of the issues as well. If all of your value lies in a single piece of code, and that code must of course be stored digitally for it to have value, because otherwise you can't transfer it, unless you're gonna, I don't know, send the three million dollars code in the mail. <laughs> to be fair, that would be kind of funny in and of itself. You're gonna have to store it on the internet. And as we know, the internet tends to be rather rife with various security issues and potential exploits as well. Now in this case, it does appear to be their own uh, relative idiocy that caused their loss. But I mean, it's, it's far from impossible that somebody could actually hack one of these sites and gain access to all kinds of user data. Not like it hasn't happened before. How many massive data breaches haven't we heard of? I'm sure these sites will have plentiful security, and they're undoubtedly very, very smart people, so they'll have a lot of uh, code and passwords and yada 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 encryptions, yet nevertheless, any lock can eventually be broken at some point in time, and all it takes for it to all come crumbling down is of course for one of the administrators perhaps to click on a link himself and um, 
Voila! Many, many dollary doos worth of .jpegs will flow freely onto the internet. Hopefully, into the arms of kind philanthropists like this guy. Good God. Right, consider that your, your daily dose of NFT news and a small respite from the, what I imagine to be near endless barrage of rings of power content coming from me and, well, practically everyone else on the internet at the moment. And again, for very, very good reasons. It is a vital battleground that uh, we need to exploit. Anywho, I have been Arch. Thank you all very much for listening, and I hope to see you all again soon. Till then, have a good day.